हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस मैथ ओलम्पेडल जेब्रा प्रॉब्लम एंड हियर वी हैव एम प्लस एन इक्वल्स टू टू एंड एम एन इक्वल्स टू फोर एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम एंड एन सो द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज हेयर फर्स्ट वी कॉल दिस इज आवर इक्वेजन नंबर वन एंड दिस इज आवर इक्वेजन नंबर टू सो हेयर फर्स्ट वी फोकस ऑन इक्वेजन नंबर वन एंड फ्रॉम इक्वेजन नंबर वन वी हैव we move this m to the right hand side and we get the value of n equals to 2 minus m and we call this is our equation number 3 and now in the next step here we substitute this value of n in equation number 2 so when you substitute this value of n in the above equation so our uh, above equation 2 implies that Here you have m n and we have the value of n is two minus m, so it will be written as two minus m equals to four. And now in the next step, here we multiply this m on both of these terms, and it will be written as two times of m minus m square equals to four. And now in the next step, here we need to rearrange the terms. and we move both of these two terms in the right hand side and it will be written as comes plus m square and when we move this plus 2m to the right hand side it will becomes minus 2m and already we have this plus 4 in the right hand side and this is equals to 0 so now you see here uh, this will becomes a quadratic equation uh, so that here we use the nice quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation So that here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to one, b equals to minus two, and c equals to four. So these are the coefficients of the above equation. And now in the next step uh, here uh, we use the quadratic formula and you know about the quadratic formula. It is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the over quadratic formula and now uh, the time to uh, put the values of a b and c in this formula so that uh, here we have m equals to minus b and the value of uh, b is minus 2 it will be written as minus into minus 2 and plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 and this whole is divided by 2 times of a and the value of a is 1 so uh, in the next step uh, we have and we we need some simplification here so you see that we have minus times of minus becomes here plus here plus true and plus minus square root of a minus 2 square and we know that minus 2 square equals to plus 4 and this 4 times of 4 becomes 16 and this whole divided by 2 So here uh, we have this is two plus minus square root of four minus sixteen becomes minus twelve and it is divided by two. So here we uh, need more simplification here and we have two plus minus this is twelve and we write this twelve as four times of three and we separate the square root of minus one. and this is divided by 2 and now in the next step we have m equals to this is 2 plus minus here we know that the square root of 4 is equals to 2 and we have the square root of 3 and we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and this is divided by 2 So here further we break this fraction and we write it as m equals to two over two plus minus two into square root of three over two into iota. Okay, so here uh, we cancelled these terms and we finally get the values of m are one plus minus. This is also cancelled by each other. We have square root of three into iota. so uh, here finally we get two complex values of m 
so now uh, we use these two values and we get the values of n so that here first we break these two values here uh, we write the positive value it is 1 plus uh, square root of 3 iota and here we write the negative value it is 1 minus square root of 3 iota and we substitute these two values in equation number 3 and you see here this is our equation number 3 and we put the value of n equals to 2 minus m we put the values of m here and we get the corresponding values of n so here we first copy down the equation number 3 and our equation number 3 is n equals to 2 minus m so here we substitute first the positive value so it will be written as n equals to 2 minus m and the value of m is 1 plus square root of 3 iota so here we simplify the terms and we have we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 1 minus square root of 3 iota so 2 minus 1 becomes 1 minus square root of 3 iota so this is the value of n corresponding to this value of m so now further we move towards in this case and here in this case we substitute this value of m here and we get our n equals to 1 minus uh, sorry this is our 2 and minus m and the value of m is 1 minus square root of 3 iota so here we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 1 plus square root of 3 iota so you know that 2 minus 1 becomes 1 plus square root of 3 into iota so this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is 1 minus square root of 3 iota so finally we have two solutions of the given equation so the first solution is m n equals to 1 plus square root of 3 iota and 1 minus square root of 3 iota and the second solution is m n equals to our m in that case is 1 minus square root of 3 iota and the value of n is 1 plus square root of 3 iota so finally we have <clears throat> these two solutions of the given equation and now we check uh, is both of these two solutions are satisfied the given equation or not so here first we check this solution and we substituted these both values on both of the given equation so the first equation is m plus n equals to 2 and the second equation is m n equals to 4 so here first we use these two values in this equation and we check its behavior so we have 1 plus square root of 3 this is the value of m and the value of n is 1 minus square root of 3 iota equals to 2 so this is negative and positive are gone and 1 plus 1 is 2 equals to 2 so this shows that the value of m and n satisfy the first equation and now we use these two values in second equation and we check its behavior so we have 1 plus square root of 3 iota into 1 minus square root of 3 iota equals to 4 and here we use the nice square identity and we know that it is equals to 1 square minus square root of 3 iota square equals to 4 so here you have 1 square is 1 and 3 square root is becomes 3 and iota square equals to minus 1 equals to 4 and minus times of minus becomes plus and 4 equals to 4. So this shows that the second equation, uh, these two values of m and n also satisfied the second equation. Similarly, uh, we check the behavior of uh, these two values of m and n when we substitute it here. So first we put these two values in this equation and we have m is 1 minus square root of 3 iota and n is 1 plus square root of 3 iota equals to 2 so these are gone and you easily get 2 equals to 2 so uh, now we check the behavior in second equation so we have m is 1 minus square root of 3 iota and n is 1 plus square root of 3 iota equals to 2 uh, sorry equals to 4 the product of m and n is 4 okay 
so uh, now here we need uh, some simplification and it will be written as uh, 1 square minus square root of 3 iota square equals to 4 so it is equals to 1 minus 3 into minus 1 equals to 4 and it will be written as 1 plus 3 equals to 4 and 4 equals to 4 so this shows that the second value also satisfy the given equation so these are the two solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos